Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my quarter three debt update. So back in 2022, when I started this journey, I started with about $30,000 in debt with everything included. And then um, uh, with people that follow my journey, as you know, back in July of 2023, I had an emergency eye surgery added a few thousand dollars of debt, so that stunted me for a few months. I took several months to recover. So really, in 2024 is like when I really got serious with the debt, the debt payoff and like really being intentional. So 2023, I of course was debt snowballing and paying things off, but I, I feel that I've become more focused and honed in a bit in 2024. We will start off with my consumer debts and then we will go down to my student loan debt. So I really just have the two debts that are left. And as you can see, loan one, I now have it down to $8,259. And I paid off the Wells Fargo credit card. So the Wells Fargo, that was the one where I pulled out and got 0% interest on it. And that had all of my medical debts. Um, I went with that uh, to take advantage of a cash back bonus. I ended up dumping that back into the debt um, some time ago and also to just have medical debt at 0%. So the great thing is that I paid that off well before the end date for the promotional period. The promotional period technically is November of this year. So if I needed to like do a quick balance of something, <laughs> like I could technically do that. But so that was paid off the Wells Fargo. That was what I've targeted in quarter three. And then once I paid off that balance is when I then started targeting the loan one. So now we are approaching things from a debt avalanche sort of approach. Um, so the loan one has about a 12 point something percent AP. R, APR, right? Um, and then my student loans average 6.66%. So I'm, I'm focusing in on the loan. So as you see, the difference from last time to this time, I've reduced my consumer debt by $2,769.10. And as predicted, Quarter three slowed down a bit in general with what I was able to pay off. I cut back a little bit on overtime, actually a lot of it in comparison. I wanted to really enjoy the summer and I did just that. Hopefully in quarter four, I can meet my overall goal for 2024. So my goal originally was to have all debts down to 18K or less, but I crushed that goal already by quarter two. So then I changed my goal and it's now 10,000 or less. So I need to get to $10,000 or less by the end of this year. Okay, so moving on from consumer, I had some miscellaneous debts here. I had a, a loan from my best friend and a 401k loan. Those were paid off last quarter. So all by last quarter, so that there's no difference there. And now we get to the student loan debt. So I now have it at $5,531.99, and it previously was over 6 k Now my overall grand total of all debts, consumer and student loans, is $13,790.99. And it previously was a little over 17 k So what I have managed to pay off was a total of $3,285.48. Last quarter, as you see, like I said, I went hard, I went ham. <laughs> it was a little over 4,600. So as you see, there's quite a difference in what I was able to pay off. Because I wanna to get to 10K or less, that means I really need to pay off almost $3,800. So I need to get somewhere in between the type of progress that I made in quarter three and quarter two. So I, I need to be a little bit more aggressive than I was last quarter, but I don't have to be as aggressive as the previous quarter. It's what I'm trying to say. 
So I'm really excited. I'm really happy about that. Um, the great thing is that October is a three paycheck month. So it's a magic month. I did not have any magic months in quarter three. So that alone might be able to help me. And if I, even if I cut back a little bit on overtime, if I try to focus a bit more on my side hustle, my Etsy, um, I should be able to get more side hustle cash to pay towards the debt. Honestly, like I was getting myself so burnt out from work. It's, it's just hard to stomach overtime. Like really it, it is like I've been, it's been a year plus of doing constant overtime and I'm, I just, it's just hard. It's hard to stomach, but um, so fingers crossed. I'm hoping to get to 10 K or less. Let me know how you guys are doing down below in the comments with your goals and follow along for my debt payoff journey. I would love to have you. So please subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.